what's up team hard today i'm taking a ferry ride in seattle usa after a long time and i thought this would be a good vlog for you to experience if you are visiting seattle you must try the ferry that takes you over the waters of puget sound today i'll show you how to buy the tickets how to board the ferry and i'll take you around a small tour inside the ferry too i'm actually heading west to this place called kingston it's on an island to buy an aftermarket part accessory for haku and if you're new here this is haku our 2019 crosstrek limited and i'm going to film this whole video on just the DJI Osmo action so that i can figure out what else i need to make this a proper vlogging rig so this guy i'm buying this accessory from lives in one of these islands here if you see the map of seattle you'll see that there are a lot of islands on the west side and also there is this big beautiful olympic peninsula now if i had to go by road i have to drive down all the way to the south and then go back up the whole trip would be around no not even the whole trip one way would be around 100 miles or 160 kilometers one way but with the ferry i can just drive to this place called edmunds catch the ferry drop on the other side which will be kingston 16 miles only now there are four or five ferry services that you can take from seattle they all start at multiple places and end at multiple places so you choose based on where you want to go we are choosing to go to edmunds because that's where you board to get to kingston if it was not covid-19 time i would have loved to drive all the way around the long way around but we are still reopening from the lockdown we are in phase 2 right now so the ferry may be still empty but hey it makes it less weird to walk around with the camera all right so let's go Okay I just reached the free parking spot there is a free parking spot out here at the Kingston or oh, sorry at the Edmunds ferry terminal so you can park but it gets crowded super easy this with covid-19 i was actually waiting and i missed the ferry i can see it go bye bye yeah so if you want to use the free parking maybe just come way early to the ferry terminal even if you want to like walk to the ferry and not take the car in if you want to definitely go with the car inside you should queue up much earlier but even with the free parking you should come earlier so that you can park and then walk to the ferry cuz you got to go get a ticket so i'm going to go get a ticket for the next ferry which is 4 445 which is like 45 minutes from now so yeah not the first time that i've missed the ferry there is also a beach out here where you can sit and watch the ferries come in and go but i wouldn't go in there today because it seems a little crowded during covid-19 i don't know how the wind noise is on the osmo action uh, it's a little windy here so that's the ticket terminal got to go there get the tickets in that's the security and that's if you bring the car you just drive through in there all right you got these uh, ticket machines i remember earlier in 2018 when i came in i walked in all the way got my tickets from inside maybe because of covid-19 you just got to do this so ticket sales i'm taking the edmunds kingston ferry right so this is adult passenger 1 It doesn't show you the car cost, but there's a different cost for the. Oh, there you go. More fares. You see, vehicle and driver. Fourteen uh, feet. I believe. Then I might have to take. I don't know. Maybe fourteen feet. Twenty dollars. That would have been my fare if I didn't just walk it. So I'm walking in. Nine dollars. Continue. Swipe your credit card below. All right, something I wanted to mention about motorcycles. So when you come on a motorcycle, you can you don't have to actually wait in line. You just go straight up all the way to the front of the line because motorcycles get loaded first. To get onto the ferry, you got to come back to the ferry terminal. There's a barcode scanner over there. Scan your ticket. I couldn't record it. This is like a glass enclosure. You can see the beach on one side. the vehicles are loading so these guys are just coming out of the ferry right now and uh, those guys are going in you can see the motorcycles are up there let's get into the queue you can also see that 
perspective mark i believe this is the 6 feet markers where you can stand 6 feet away from each other while you board although there's not many walk in folks who are going there lots of my motorcycle brotherhood out there the gates are open now just walk through and there is our ferry so right here the land ends ferry bridge starts get in and that's the ferry holy shit covid 19 everything is closed it's empty this is like super sad for a ferry but i'm going to go up on the dock i'm going to show you the dock here check this out so you can come up on the dock here it's going to be super windy and you can see the car guys down there the motorcycles what i'm guessing is a lot of folks who are in the car they're staying in the car they're not coming up which is why it's empty i see at least 20 cars down there and not 20 people like there are like six people down here up here but this is a nice spot usually you wouldn't find it this empty no freaking way especially in summer no freaking way like there's also one more deck up there so you can go up there too the doors are closed we're going to go back from in there and finish so oh, i'm don't want to touch these things all right kingston about there somewhere 30 minutes so this ferry name is pialup there's another ferry called spokane these are names of places cities around in uh, washington all right so i just uh, took a seat by the window it's although nobody wants to like sit opposite to you like nobody wants to when you're sitting here So there's a buttload of stickers on in there. I don't know who put those stickers. Who was able to access that place to put in stickers over there? I also wanted to go around and show you guys the kitchen. There is also a kitchen in here. So usually, if it is not COVID-19 time, you come here. You can also go into the kitchen. You can get yourself some snack. That place would be the kitchen usually, and this is the dining area. and you have books to read you have visitor information you also have newspapers that you can pick up from there you also can drink alcohol not like an alcoholic freaking beer but it's just like your social drinking i don't alcohol is even allowed here but not beyond that point because you know, express bar is also here lots of facilities people go back from work they work in over here on the seattle side commute every day on the ferry so they have a ferry pass speaking of ferry pass now this ticket that i just got you were to do one way trip from edmonds to kingston it is actually free there is no ticket it will be 0 dollars but because you take a two way the whole 9 dollars actually for coming from Kingston to Edmonds. I can show you the kitchen but I can show you the car deck. So I just came in from right up there. It's a two decks of parking I believe. I'm going down to the next one. Here we are. Gets a little dark while going up in the stairs. Uh, there you go. So deck one, that deck, go up from here. No smoking, no pets, no sports stuff. So don't take sports. Stuff. boat got too close to the ferry it was honking too close there's a personal boat over there maybe i should get this shot on my phone it's a safety net so when the boat docks in you're supposed to empty the docks come this side
all right i see the dji struggles a bit with the auto exposure against the sunlight so it was a quick in and out i didn't even go on the land thankfully the guy who's selling me this he came up till the ferry uh, not till the ferry but till the last bit where you enter just before touching the land so we exchanged the product there i exchanged the money there i paid him through an app called venmo that's what they use uh, here just like we use uh, taze and google pay and paytm in india however the deal was a bit sour for me because we agreed on a price uh, and you know they, i don't know if it's miscommunication because this is what happened Jeez, that's a shit on the window. I thought that's a bird. The DJI's front screen, the small front screen, it kind of helps while framing. But you know, I I really thought that was. Then I'm like, why is it not moving? In our final destination, all passengers must disembark the vessel of the main passenger cabin. So that was the safety instructions. So there is like jackets on the board. There is like an exit procedure too. I do wanna actually go back on the deck. It gets a little hot in here. Uh, outside, the wind is really nice, but you cannot leave your stuff. Although I am pretty sure it won't get stolen around here. And also, there are like barely six, seven people on the boat right now. If anybody steals it, there's only one exit. You won't be able to hide this. Uh, I came to the wrong place. Uh, I this is called the sun deck. Not a lot of people here. Just a couple of folks chilling out. And you, you can go down there and uh, so down there would be your sitting deck. This is your sun deck. You know, folks here in the PNRB of Seattle, they love a lot of sun. It's not super sunny all around the year. So I don't even know if all this is getting recorded because it's like super windy. <laughs> Damn, I do actually want to go and stand on the beach and get some like, you know, breeze from this thing. But it's super crowded and I wasn't super happy with the kind of social distancing that was there because inside, yes, inside it was pretty good. There was not many people and most of the people spend their time in the cars. I would give thumbs up to the guys who spend their time in the car rather than coming up on the deck. Even on the deck, there was social distancing, but... I don't know what happens when the gates open. Uh, I mean, it's definitely not like the Indian level of stuff. You know, we don't, not so much crowd, but you know, not six feet. It's sometimes I've even had people and half a feet, like just my arms length away, which is, I don't know, quarter feet. No, actually my arm is like maybe two feet. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh boy. Did I just cook? off i hope i'm okay uh, i hope that was not a bad decision trying to go and buy this accessory all over that island over there all right anyway it's time to end the vlog i hope you guys loved it if you did give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what more you want to see around seattle is there anything else you want to learn about living in united states any other day-to-day -day activities any other special things how to do this how to do that let me know in the comments i am taking up suggestions for now and you can also guess what these parts are i did not even talk about them right now you'll see them in the next video or maybe subsequent video but you can guess 